In today's episode, we will be addressing question from Tech Simplified TV viewer Andre Gomez, who has asked how difficult would be to start an IP business. So, without any further delay, let's begin our discussion. At the very beginning, we want to thank Andre for raising this question to us. Before we start today's topic, we want to say that this is not a hand holding to start an IP business. We have just tried to give an overview on this topic. In general, there are three different aspects of starting any business. First, finance, second, contacts, and third, expertise or knowledge of the field. Finance is the most important factor as even with a great expertise and foolproof business plan, one needs money to actualize it in reality. Renting or buying a premise, buying two license, hiring people for work, you need money for everything. So first, sort your finance and make a good business plan to keep the wheel rolling. We are not from finance background, so we are stopping at this point. Contacts or networking is equally important. If you are part of the industry for quite some time, many people knows you, you can utilize contact at different point based on the situation you are facing. Now the expertise or knowledge part. In our personal experiences while working in multiple service or product based companies, we have seen multiple senior managers having 12 to 15 years of experience have started their own companies. We don't want to mention any name. They have built their business based on their decade long experiences. Either you have good knowledge of the field or you have few people who are pro in that. Now IP course in VLSI are generally licensed as either soft IP course or hard IP course. Soft IP course are IP blocks generally offered as synthesizable RTL models. These are developed in one of the hardware description language like System Verilog or VHDL. Sometimes IP codes are also synthesized and provided as generic get level netlist which can be then mapped to any process technologies. This also falls under soft IP codes. The advantage of soft IP core is that those can be customized in backend placement and routing flow by a consumer to map to any process technologies. Hard IP codes on the other hand are offered as layout design in a layout format like GDS which is mapped to a process technology and can be directly dropped by a consumer to the final layout of the chip. This course cannot be customized for different process technologies. So if you are planning to deliver soft IP course, you need a strong fronted team which mean you need a team who will do RTL designing, RTL verification, RTL synthesis, pre-layout static timing analysis, DFT that is designed for testability analysis. Whereas if you are planning to deliver hard IP codes, you need more manpower. Along with front-end team, you need a back-end team who will do PNR layout, DRC and LVS, parasitic extraction, post layout, static timing analysis, physical verification, electro migration and airdrop, formal verification, LEC and tape out. Also, you will need a test chip team for silicon verification of your IP. In both the situations, whether you have only front-end team or both the front and back-end team, you need a CAD team who will take care of the flow automation, wrapper creation, tool installation and license management and QC QA of the IP before delivery or release. Next comes IP delivery and shipping team. Whatever macro you deliver to your customer, you must have a dedicated team of application engineers who are trained to resolve issues customer are facing related to your delivered IPs. Beside all this, you must address licensing or permission issues for customers depending on business model you use. For hiring new team members, you need a hiring team, although you can outsource it to some consulting firms or to individual consultant depending on your need and budget. There must be an HR team, a system team and at least one admin person who will take care the logistic on day to day basis. So Andre, your question was how much difficult to start an IP business. We have tried to give a general bird's eye view through our entire discussion so far. Before ending, one more tip for you that the exact level of complexity or difficulty you will come across when you will start walking the path. Thanks for watching. We will meet in next episode of Q&A. Till then, stay tuned, stay focused.